It's 8 p.m. For those who don't yet have plans for the evening, West Jerusalem offers different choices. Gatekeepers, a documentary on the Israeli Secret Service, is on at the Cinematek. There are still tickets for two shows at the Jerusalem Center for Performing Arts. Silence slowly settles over the streets in East Jerusalem, even the alleys in the Old City. The temperature is around 11 degrees. Mora Mizrahi has the evening all to herself. Israel Campbell is scheduled to do a show. He's a comedian. Watsim Razuk is expecting a last client at his tattoo parlor. The old city of Jerusalem is in the east of the city. According to the United Nations, it belongs to the Palestinian territories. For Israel, it's part of its own capital. The city center is divided into four parts. A Jewish quarter, a Muslim quarter, a Christian quarter, and an Armenian quarter. The holy sites of three world religions are crammed into one small space. The Wailing Wall, the Al-Aqsa Mosque, the Holy Sepulchre. One city, three world religions. Souvenir outlets around the Holy Sepulchre still offer candles, pictures of saints, and wooden crowns of thorns. Those who want to spend the evening in church may do so for another 57 minutes. The gates will then be closed. Western city center, nightlife begins, and it's hard to get a table in the restaurants. And in the streets, it's even harder to find parking. One can go out for Italian or Arab food. There are kosher burgers or seafood, which isn't kosher. For Jana Glaser, the evening schedule is fixed. A quick family dinner, a brief nap, then the night shift at the hospital where she works as a midwife. Before that, she has to pick up her daughter from ballet class. The ballet is held in high esteem. The country is famous for modern dance. And with a bit of luck and talent, Jana Glaser's daughter might find herself on the big stage one evening, one day. Okay. 
תודה רבה. Israel Campbell is experienced on stage, but not as a ballet dancer. Okay, guys. I'll see. It's leaking. Don't let it leak. Okay, guys. Everyone give me a kiss. And the dovey. Give me a kiss. Bye. Bye. Rafa, can I have a kiss? Get some rest. You look exhausted. I'm not. Was your tea all hard? Bye. 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 Don't jump. All right. Okay. Bye, everybody. Bye. Have fun. See you later. Firstly, he's an Orthodox Jew, and secondly, he jokes about it every evening. What Sim Razuk doesn't joke about his work, he's tattooing a serious issue on the skin of a Christian. خمس سنين تقريبا أربعة وشوي وهذا إشي كان أبوي يضل يقول لي دائما بدي إياك تتعلم وبدي إياك تتعلم وبدي إياك تأخذ هاي الشغلة الإشي اللي كان في العيلة بنعمل معظم شغلنا صلبان وطبعا بحب الناس يحطوا صليب وتاريخ اللي هي اللي هي يعني زي شهادة أو إثبات ل لوجودهم في القدس والحج تبعهم أو الزيارة تبعتهم في القدس كمان سيام دم صفتي وتغطي بقدم كان هم قدام السولم لهم فاسيوم شيء يا يوم أيو أوديشنيم كان تو ف إنك ما أسيت هذا أسيت خيرك لا كل أخويا تا האמת שקצת התבלבלתי, אבל בסדר. אני עוד לא אובייקטיבית אולי, אבל את מדהימה, הכי טובה. בוקה שלי. אתה יפה? לא ממש אמת. אני עובדת היום לילה, אם את לא זוכרת. נעשה ביחד, נחתוך סלט מהר. טוב. Sweet potatoes with fresh figs are pulled from the oven, charred with tahini yogurt sauce and pine nuts, roasted in olive oil. Those who go and see films without dinner can take in a large bag of popcorn. Heated sweet corn, an invention by Native Americans, fuel for the next 120 minutes of action. turn on the TV, the computer, or let the electric radiator glow. Once the sun has set, it gets chilly in the city, and one should wear warm clothes or a jacket, like Moran Misrahi. She woke up at half past six, woke her daughter and took her to school. And then the trouble began. First, there was an argument at her bakery, then she had to deal with angry customers at the cafe. And finally in the afternoon, her daughter staged a revolt. Now, she hopes the evening will get better. I'm going to 
לשתות. חלאס, היום הזה גמר אותי. She's heading to a bar at Mahane Yehuda for a cocktail in pleasant company. Romy, yeah. let's go. Oh, Anna Jehiz. Yeah, that's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Romy has a tattoo on his lower left arm. He wants it to disappear underneath another tattoo. For Muslims, evening prayer begins when dusk gives way to darkness. Only Muslims are permitted to enter the Al-Aqsa Mosque. The mosque lies on a hill in the southeast of the old city. Muslims call the place Al Kharama Sharif, the noble sanctuary. For the Jews, it's the mountain where their temple once was, their center of belief. United Hatzalah, United First Aid, was founded by Orthodox Jews. In case of emergencies, volunteer paramedics like Aaron Beck rush to the rescue. For Aaron, the night shift begins. To him, being a paramedic is a form of serving God. We are now in Einsatzbereitschaft to Leben retten. Next paar Stunden. Mit dem Motorrad Menschenleben retten. Damit helfe ich Leute und helfe ich mir selbst, damit ich jeden Tag einen guten Tat ruhig schlafen kann. Weekends are usually pretty busy for the paramedics. Hey there. Sorry, they get the best Wi-Fi in front of McDonald's. <laughs> Are they, is it still here? It looks, they don't have a sign, they don't have a The weekend lasts for three days in Jerusalem. On Fridays, Muslims are off work. On Saturdays, the Jews. And on Sundays, it's the Christians. Theatres are full the evenings before. Jerry is manager and roadie in one for Israel Campbell, and he swears by Anglo-Saxon specialities. So you're not eating anything. I'm not going to. You can eat. Feel free to eat. There's plenty. Of... Yeah, I, I don't know. I'm, I have like some disorder that makes me want to have fish and chips everywhere, and I've never had it here. <laughs> When Aaron Beck is called, he's prepared for everything. Serious accidents, heart conditions, diabetic shock, asthma attacks. Mr. 
Otim Razuk comes from a family of Coptic Christians. They came to Jerusalem from Egypt. Ready? Let's go. The paramedic on site has asked for support. Speed can save lives, and he's got all the equipment he needs in his emergency case. When Ahon arrives at the site of an accident, he has to get a clear idea of the situation. In this case, a girl lies at the side of the road. She either fell off her bike or was hit by a car. The site of the accident is in a neighborhood inhabited mainly by ultra-Orthodox Jews. Their life is regulated by strict rules. What they may or may not eat is written in the Torah. Chicken, but not ostrich meat, is permitted. Fish with fins and scales are kosher. Seafood without fins isn't. And eel is forbidden, just like shrimp. Secular Jews order it anyway. Esther Schimberg has invited three friends to a braka party. Two have already arrived. A braka party is a religious celebration amongst devout women. For Esther, somewhere out there is a man that God has destined for her, her other half. But she hasn't found him yet. Maybe the braka benedictions will help. Four women in Esther's flat have not been in Jerusalem for long. May I ask you something? Where are you coming from? Baltimore, Maryland, in the USA. Did, did you get here on your own? What's, what's, your, what's your story? Uh -huh. I mean, um, shortly, um, I, I came to seminary and I loved it, and I decided to make Aliyah. Um, my mom's Israeli, so I've I have some family here. So um, I came and I made Ali on my own. From Baltimore, Maryland. So, yeah. um, so I grew up in Austin, Texas. And um, yeah, so my sister, she came to Israel and went to school, like a uh, seminary here. And after high school, I had no idea what I wanted, so I kind of just followed her. 
and then she made Aliyah, and I was like, I'm never making Aliyah, no way. <laughs> Can you explain uh, what does Aliyah mean? Um, so it's an Israeli term that people say um, when you move to Israel that you're making Aliyah. You make Aliyah, you go up, and then when you leave Israel, it's a uh, Yerida. So it's the opposite, it's to go down. So when I tell people, you know, I'm Israeli, they say, like, when did you go down? Mm -hmm. And it's the idea that, you know, that Israel is this holy place. It's a, a higher, kind of like you're living on a higher level, I guess how you can say. That's the, the easiest way to describe it. It's something, I guess, spiritual. I guess it's the idea that um, you're more connected to, to God, you know, when, when you're in this country. Um, mm -hmm. That it's, you know, the nation of the Jews it's, is this country. So. For Muslims, Jerusalem is part of the Arab world, a sanctuary. From here, the Prophet Muhammad is said to have ascended a ladder into heaven, where he received God's revelations together with the words for prayers. Yana Glaza lives in Gilo, a Jewish settlement in East Jerusalem, surrounded by Arab quarters. The settlement lies on a hill, offering a view across the city from the terrace. At home, a husband, a dog, and two sons are waiting for Yana and her daughter. Shalom, Bait. Tuk tuk. Shalom. Panchma. Bye. Sanki. I have a last question. What would happen to you if you would fall in love with a non-Jew or not religious guy? Easy what, question. What do you want to do? Those two are very different. It's not going to happen. Yes. <laughs> no, because we, 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 like, what does fall in love mean? You fall in love. There's no such a thing as for us to see someone and be like, that's I'm it. I must, you know, have this person because you don't know him. All you see is his outside. It might be beautiful, but you know, you have to find out about the inside of a person. And we're not dating non-Jews, so <laughs> it's not gonna happen. That's me for me at least. Yeah. During a Braka party, the Lord is praised with every swallow and every bite. Those who want to see a theater play can get a ticket for the 9 p.m. show at the Shurova Theatre. Those looking for pleasure can find it at the bars and the restaurants at Mahane Yehuda, where time for the traders is over and the time for the barkeepers begins. But wherever their path may lead them, God knows them all. Even when in Jerusalem, he has three names. Moram Mizrahi would be content with just a drink for now.
Holy Sepulchre, pilgrims are still queuing in front of the place where Jesus was taken to his grave and overcame death. The promise being, he who has led life according to the right beliefs will find paradise. Aronbeck has finished his first assignment. At the entrance to the old city lies the shop of Watsim Razuk and his father. Pilgrims of every religion walk past it. One can change currency, buy souvenirs, or get tattoos. <laughs> Perfect, perfect, perfect. Also, was war denn da? Äh, ein Mädchen, fünf Jahre alt, hat ihr äh, äh, linkes, äh, linke Fuß äh, in die Pedale reingesteckt, zwischen die Pedale und den äh, Velo. Fahrrad und äh, stecken geblieben. Man musste es äh, aufschneiden, äh, damit äh, das Fuß wieder rauskommt. Hat sich nicht verletzt. Ich habe äh, vorbereitet, dass wir, wenn die Feuerwehr kommt, nur noch äh, mit der Hydraulikpumpe leichter öffnen. Ein kleiner Einsatz. Ein kleiner Einsatz. Mehr einen guten Tat äh, wie ein Einsatz. Mayan. Shalom, yeah, Ken. You, I'm sorry? Ah, oh, oh, hi, hi. Yes, yes. Oh, I, I, they're there already? A full house. There's a full house at the theater. Okay, so, yeah, we'll, we'll come now. Okay, we're on our way. We're we're on Emic Rafaim. We're just down the block. Okay, we'll be right there. The guy from the theater doesn't uh, know what we need, lights and stuff. He's like, it's a little weird. Everyone's here but you. Well, that's the, the most difficult part of any Israeli dining experience, getting the check. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe life on Earth is but a test for eternity. But maybe Albert Einstein was also right when he said, I never think of the future. It comes early enough as it is. Wow, I'm going to It's 8.30 p.m. Not only do three religions argue in Jerusalem, but people there also live across three different eras. Muslims have over 1,400 years on their calendar, Christians over 2,000, and Jews over 5,700 years. What they have in common is a belief in one God who created this world. Temperature, 11 degrees. 
Michael Greilshammer unpacks his instruments for rehearsal. Meanwhile, the audience is waiting for Israel Campbell. Oh, wait, my bag, my bag. Constanza Klatt spends her evening with her husband, Shemel, and the in-laws. Up until World War I, Palestine was part of the Ottoman Empire. Afterwards, it became a British-mandated territory. At the center of the mandate, Jerusalem. After Israeli independence, the city was divided in 1948. The east became part of Jordan, the west became the capital of Israel. During the Six-Day War in 1967, Israel conquered the eastern side of town as well, extended its borders, and declared the whole of Jerusalem to be the capital of the country. This status is not internationally recognized. According to the UN, East Jerusalem is an occupied territory and claimed by the Palestinians as their capital. There's still time at the Sharova Theatre, and the audience is taking their seats. The show only begins once the Holy Sepulchre closes. Pilgrims have another 27 minutes to be close to Jesus. Theatre in West Jerusalem, the audience is waiting for the star of the evening, Israel Campbell. It's like up uh, near the ICCY. Oh, okay. But I don't really know exactly. I've never been there. You know, so, I mean, look, when you get there, yeah. it's just. It's a small place. It's got to be a small place. Right, right, so, right. I think you can personally shake everybody's hand and thank them for coming. Kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Israel Campbell's audience is already at the Hamartev Theater. Translated, it means something like basement stage. Manishma. How are you I'm doing? so happy to see you. There's people in there? 35 people. All waiting for you. Okay. Hi. 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 Who's this guy? I need to ask him. I'm the yes. light man. Ah, how are you? What's that? Da 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 Tout dire bien, je vis dans un banc, je suis tout décontracte, le dos plongé dans l'herbe, je me goberge, avant que la nuit n'apparaisse, je somnole avec ivresse, revenez de même. Tout dire bien. Non, 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 non. Michael Greilshammer is rehearsing for a tour to go round Canada and the US. But first, he has to fine tune his sound. Voilà, 
mal 20 pas. Ahun Beck, with the paramedics of United Hatsala, is waiting for his next assignment. Youngsters living in East Jerusalem and looking for fun visit the pool salon, the shisha bar, or an internet cafe to be Lionel Messi once and beat major European clubs. Women and girls are rarely seen here. Boys at the internet cafe wouldn't attract attention in Paris or Berlin. Nearly all girls wear headscarves and long coats in the Arab quarters like Aysawiya. This is where Constanze Klatt and her husband Shemel live. Constanze is from Germany. Shemel was born in Jerusalem. <laughs> safe. They both met in Barcelona. Both are architects. They have one daughter. Ich halte es mal an. Wir machen das jetzt. Wir machen uns das fertig fürs Bett. Na dann ist aber doch nicht das Ding dann durch die Gegend werfen. Ist doch nicht fürs Bett fertig machen. Israel Campbell is an ultra-orthodox Jew, but he hasn't always been. Okay, you good? So I'm. Oh, that's right. me. Okay. Yeah, I'll see you on the other side. All right. All right. Thanks. Good luck. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you very much. Thanks for coming out. Um, I'm the firstborn son of a manic depressive Italian woman and a pathologically silent Irishman, which makes me wildly emotional in a very quiet way. I, uh, I grew up Catholic. Jews always want to know how Catholic were you? Catholic enough to know I was going to hell. No, I, I chose Judaism because they always said there's no Hebrew word for hell. <laughs> so, I, so, so let me back up. So I, I was, grew up Catholic. My parents spent, both went to Catholic school all the way through college. My mother then went into the convent. Thank God she left, otherwise only half of me would be standing here today. <laughs> but my aunt was a nun, which makes Jesus my uncle. <laughs> Thank you. 
die Hochzeitssaison muss sie dauert eigentlich ist eigentlich ein bisschen zu früh, weil es noch ein bisschen zu kalt ist, um draußen zu feiern, weil die feiern immer draußen mit so vielen Leuten. Und es ist eigentlich so von April bis Oktober. Aber dann hat man auch fast jedes Wochenende eine. Oder hat man hat jedes Wochenende eine. Also wir kriegen auch ständig Einladungen, wo wir gehen eigentlich nicht. Ich will gehen nicht hin. Also meine, Schwieger, meine Schwiegermutter tanzt auch jede Hochzeit im wahrsten Sinne des Wortes. Sie geht, die ist immer nicht da. Immer wenn du fragst, wo ist die, wo ist die, die ist auf irgendeiner Hochzeit. Es wird halt auch getrennt gefeiert, Männer und Frauen. Das ist irgendwie alles für unser Verständnis von der Feier. Und die tanzen aber auch getrennt. Also es gibt, die sind auch nicht mal am gleichen Tag. Also es gibt einen Tag, da, da tanzen die Frauen und dann machen die Frauen ihre Feier. Und die Männer feiern auch dann gar nicht mal am gleichen Tag. Es ist ein Tag vorher, wo die Männer dann tanzen. Ja, also wir gehen dann nicht hin. Es sind auch Leute dann weit entfernt, äh, entfernte Verwandtschaft vom Schamal und ich, ich habe dann auch immer nicht Lust, weil da muss man auch ständig was Neues anziehen. Weil man kann ja nicht nach fünf Mal auf die gleiche Hochzeit im gleichen Kleid kommen. Also muss man ständig was Neues kaufen. Habe ich auch keine Lust. Das ist auch nicht nötig. Und ich bin dann auch eine der ganz wenigen, die da nicht verschleiert kommen. Also die ziehen dann so ein bisschen groß dann immer noch ein Kopftuch und so. Und also ich fühle mich da jetzt auch nicht unbedingt wohl. Weil ich stehe dann auch immer wieder im Mittelpunkt das der Aufmerksamkeit. Und das bin ich dann immer echt unangenehm. Finde ich das irgendwie. Near Yehuda, the market in the west of town, the traders slowly clear the space. In the east of town, Shonella Dijerni practices her hobby and makes plans. At the Holy Sepulchre, the guards are slowly losing their patience with the pilgrims. Shannon is 16 years old and goes to school. Natural science is her favorite subject. بنات الصفهم اللي كانوا يشتروا مني وبنات المدرسة وبعدين صاروا المدرسة يطلبوا مني أحط بمعرض المدرسة الخاص فيهم شوي شوي صرت إنه أشتغل لحالي أتعلم لحالي أي خلصت أول إشي
second assignment for Aaron Beck, a helpless woman stranded in the West Jerusalem bus station. The car from United Hatzalah is already on its way, but they've requested support. Aaron is an experienced paramedic. United Hatzalah has a network of volunteers covering the whole country. They aim to reach every location within 90 seconds, but at the very least within three minutes. responsive, but her answers unintelligible. She's either drunk too much or she's confused. So there I was, I was in, uh, in New York for a few years and then I went out to LA and when I was in LA, I was working this horrible job. I, I, was, I was selling toner. It's in one of these phone rooms. When the best thing you can say about your job is it's not illegal. <laughs> get another job. <laughs> Especially when you have to add the addendum, not the part I do. <laughs> so I'm working this horrible job in this phone room and I'm reading the LA Weekly, which is one of these free newspapers that most cities in America have. And the back page is always like just the freakiest ads for the freakiest things, you know, like dominatrix house cleaning, you know, like <laughs> whatever, you know. And, and there's an ad, it says, so you want to be a Jew? Now, that's not what it said, but wouldn't that be a great ad? <laughs> it was an ad for a course in basic Judaism, a, an introductory course to Judaism, it said. So I called the woman up, and then I take the course, and we learn some silly stuff. We learn that on Friday night, we cover the challah. Then we learn that on the second night of Hanukkah, we light the second Hanukkah candle first. Do you know why? Because it's new. So he said it might be nervous. Standing next to a candle that burned last night, it might feel a little <laughs> So out of consideration for the feelings of a candle, we light it first. Now I'm not insane. I happen to know that on the second night of Hanukkah, the first night candle's just as new as the second night candle. They're both brand new. Last night's candle's gone. Never coming back. <laughs> Suddenly it occurs to me, if this is a people, if this is a culture, if this is a religion that cares so much about the feelings of a candle, imagine how they must treat people. <laughs> Not so well, I find out. Not all the time. Legacy Hotel, Chef Johnny Gorick prepares stuffed avocados and redefines Palestinian cuisine. In the restaurants in the west of the city, guests discuss the news of the day. The situation in the Near East, the civil war in Syria, the revolution in Egypt, and the increasing influence of radical religious groups.
emergency call at the bus station appears to be more like a cry for help. None of this will be in tomorrow's papers. Do you read the Jerusalem Post? I read the Jerusalem Post because I'm a comedian. <laughs> did you see this about, I don't know, a few months ago they did a story that 85% of the Israeli public believes that the government is corrupt? <coughs> 85%, that is an incredibly high number for the general public to believe that the government is corrupt. But what that means is that 15% of the population is completely out of touch with reality. <laughs> I brought some stuff because I don't want you to think this is just a prop. I brought this. It's funny being back in Israel, right? After five weeks in America, now I have to bring this back in the car with me, right? Because, you know, we all know what this is, right? Almost, it's about three and a half years ago, almost 500 people were killed in traffic accidents in the state of Israel, and this was the government's response. <laughs> Build a better target. <laughs> right, we're so Jewish, right? We're like, we can do better than that. 500, we could do 750 easily. I would no more wear this on the side of an Israeli highway than I would to say a Dick Cheney hunting party. بتهمك الاستقلالية؟ حلوة، حلو تلاقي إشي عندك أنت شلتي من مصاريفي، مش رحتي أخذتي من أبوك أو من أمك وشريتي، لا حلو إنه أنت عندك إشي ملكك عن جد هو ملكك من مصاريفي، مش من حد تاني. Michael Geilshammer was once called a musical wunderkind. He calls himself a freak with a violin. A freak in a city which attracts radical Christians as much as radical Muslims and radical Jews. Air to breathe is getting thinner year by year, but this is no reason to leave the city. Mädchen als Jungs, also das Angebot, das Mädchenangebot ist immer viel mehr, das sind viel mehr Mädchen, also kann dann zwischen so viele Mädchen auswählen. 
Und da kenne ich aber auch mehrere Fälle, die das dann, die dann zwar studiert haben, aber die dann im Endeffekt irgendwann Mitte oder Ende 20 waren und dann auch sitzen geblieben sind. Also die haben, die dann haben nicht mehr geheiratet oder ist dann, die sind so total gebildet, also die haben dann aber keinen Mann mehr gefunden. Aus welchen Gründen auch immer. Und dann gibt es auch nicht die Option, auszuziehen, auch nicht, wenn du eine Arbeit hast. Du musst bei deinen Eltern wohnen bleiben. Also ich kenne Leute, die sind 40, Frauen die sind 40, sind nicht verheiratet und haben eine Arbeit und haben ein eigenes Auto und haben eine eigene Firma und alles. Aber die wohnen bei ihren Eltern, weil das ja gesellschaftlich nicht akzeptiert ist, dass sie sich irgendwo eine Wohnung nehmen und da alleine was mieten. ودائما بيوفروا لي احسن ال... احسن اشياء عشان ضلني مبسوطه 